Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome to the second episode of Software Inc. Where we're in Alpha 11, where guys, you, start, you, you seem to enjoy the first episode quite a bit. Uh, so I thought I'll come back with a second one where we're trying to... Is that a cat over there? Hold on. Hold on, I'm, hang on, I'm completely side... What's happened now? Oh my goodness, I pressed all the wrong buttons. Right, out of build mode, where am I? There we are. There's a ginger cat there. What is it, Garfield? There's a... Oh, but that was a cat there for a second. There's cats everywhere in this game, isn't there? I'm completely... Uh, that's completely sidetracked my intro. <laughs> well, anyway, guys, welcome back to another episode of Software Inc. We're in Alpha 11. Um... Yeah, you seem to enjoy it so much. If you are enjoying it, please smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure you That cat has completely thrown me off. I ain't gonna lie right now. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway, uh, in the first episode, guys, we created our anti-fool, which is our antivirus software. We created the productive fool, which is... I actually forgot what that really was. That was a office software. We haven't really turned a profit on the productive fool just yet because we've only released it in its first month of sales. Which that has generated us, um, well, 35,000 profit on the previous month. Um, I'm now, oh, I'm still in debt, should I say. I was about to say I'm now debt free. I'm not quite free of debt just yet. Or am I? I can't remember. Let me just check out our loans right now. No, we are debt free. So this next month, I shouldn't really have any money coming out. And we're just trying to keep the company now afloat. So we can try and progress a little bit further. We've got three employees in total. And uh, so far, it's been a really, really good start. We had to do a load of um, kind of contract work to kind of keep us afloat. I had to get a little bit of a loan, but we seem to have soldiered on through it. Now, while we are doing marketing here and there for the Antifall and Productive Fall, the Antifall still makes us a little bit of money, so I'm going to keep that because that obviously pays one of our wages at the moment, which is really, really handy. I'm going to press pause, and what I'm going to do straight away is go to develop a new software. And I'm thinking, guys, that we do go ahead and create an operating system. Now, I'm not going to add all the features to, to, you know, throw it all in there to make it a one or a two star, you know, software. Because that would just take like a really, really, really long time. Now, if I was to create an operating system, right, I was going to see, like, what do I need? Because I know sometimes you're going to need an audio tool or a 2D editor. And I just want to see if I get the base. And so as it stands right now, it's going to cost us about a year to create. So if I add in all of the level one star stuff, two years to create, it gives us an expected interest of 39%, which is okay, but we can go a little bit further. Now, file encryption, we could potentially throw in. Now, does that require us to have a um, antivirus thing? If I went advanced... Uh, I'm not too sure. I think we'll just add in some of the basics and then just kind of figure out. So I'm on the advanced section already. We're going to create all new stuff. So system recovery. Um, that's three years. Holy moly. Okay, right. 3D rendering. Can't get that on. Network. Can't get that on. Audio. Can't get that on. Uh, windowing system. Still going to take us three years anyway. So do I just keep it straight up two years? I'm just trying to see if anything here would slow anything get down. Now, I think we'll stick to two years. If I take that off, it's still two years, but it gives us a 55% interest rate. So it's almost half of the consumer reach could potentially be interested. Now, that's interesting. We'll see how that kind of flies. Uh, product name then. So this is going to be the foundation for every operating system that we're going to be creating. And I think we'll just straight up call it the Folio. That's the Folio. Folio. We're going to call it the Folio. We call it the Folio. Should we give it like a cool name? I know, you know, Folio is as cool as it's going to get. But I'm thinking like the Folio X or the Folio 100 or 5000 or something like that. Um, no, we'll just keep it like this. Call it the Folio. Uh, we'll round it up to 110 on the price. Uh, we're doing new framework because it's going to be a new framework for the we call it the OP framework it's for the operating no OP OS uh, for the operating system uh, and it's, that's going to take approximately three years can I use an existing one we don't really have an existing one so we are going to have to create a new one yeah so OS is the name of our framework for that uh, right so next then 
And every movie you can really add to it. There's no dependencies on it. I think I'll keep it in the middle. I don't want to mess around with it too much. And that's all our teams. So pay, basically, it's going to take three years to create. It will be a little bit sooner than that, because obviously our, like, um, our, what's, what's the word? I'll, that's it, promote different stages a lot sooner. So back into play them. So while they work on that and uh, they do the iterations, they hopefully do a couple of those. It depends how quick they get through it, to be honest. And it also depends on how long my Productive Fool and Antifolio can keep things going. So I'm going to pull it as a priority number two. So here we go. Skip to next month. Yes, we still made money. <laughs> uh, oh, Antifolio made a little bit more. So that's pretty good. So where did our funds kind of disappear? So a lot of the money kind of disappeared from us paying off the loan that we had remaining. See, it's 33000 So that would have been a lot higher. Ooh, that definitely would have been a lot higher. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, if I go to our software, then our releases, we have... Okay, so we sold... Yeah, we still got plenty of each to still sell. Okay. Just keeping a check on everything right now. So they've done all the marketing that they need to do so they can carry on then with the iteration of Folio, our first operating system, which is going to be amazing. Now, as a computer again, a little bit slow. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to call IT support and call a cleaner to kind of just fix a few things up and whatnot. And that's all good. Skip to next month. Damn, that was a big payday coming in right there, boys. 48,000. It puts us 136,000 in the bank account. Anti Fool and Productive Fool are still dominating. Um, yeah, we've still got enough in stock, so we haven't got to order any new stuff just yet. I mean, it's focusing on tearing through and creating the folio. So next month, bam. So, anti fool does not meet our demand. Have we just completely sold out of that? Almost, almost. Right, we'll, 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 we'll order some more units then. So order copies. I'm going to order... I'm going to order 500. I don't feel like we're going to have to have that much. And then while I'm here, I might as well order... Another 5,000 copies of the Productive Fault, because that is what's really given us the cash at the minute. Really has given us some sweet cash right now. Now, do I think about hiring... Hmm. Some more employees? You know what I mean? Do I think about going down that route? Well, to see how long the productive fall lasts. Because what I could do is I could hire, or I could, uh, you know, lease this extra office here. And we could put a couple of, like, free desks in there. And then we can have a team of free coders, and then we can have a, free, a team of free designers. Which might be pretty sweet. Before I then eventually go on to maybe hiring the rest of that. Can I, can I hire that building? No, it's, it's just literally this one you can hire. Hmm, okay, interesting, interesting. All right, things are still rocking and rolling for us, though. We're still doing pretty good. We're still doing pretty good right now. Uh, the first uh, iteration is underway. It's the audio and system that we're kind of slightly lacking, but should we do, like, a second uh, iteration? Maybe. Maybe. Let's give it to next month. Pause a second. Big payday coming in. So 33,000 coming in this month. So technically we made more than the previous one. Uh, not sure why. Um, actually, you know, I'm not sure why. Sales were lower. Ah, uh, distribution. Oh, that's because I ordered a load of stuff, didn't I, in the previous month. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Right, so one of our employees has gone on vacation. Uh, the second iteration is now underway. Uh, okay, so I feel like we've got the money. Am I going to risk doing this? You know what we're going to do? We're going to lease that second room right now. And, okay, let's jump into build mode then. So, is there a way that I can get rid of doors? Um, group rooms, no, no, no. Like, to make doors disappear, if that makes sense. <laughs> so I can see things better. Right, okay, so let's get them. 
One there. There. Do you know what? We're going to go around the whole room with desks. Actually, no, this won't work out. This won't work. Right, delete you. Delete you. Right, what's in the way that it won't place a table there? Let me put the, the wall up. As a radiator. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. And I delete you. Right, we'll just go for two desks then. Just keep it simple. So one there and there. And let's change the function to computer. There and there. And productivity. Because this is going to be our... Hmm. It's going to be our designers, isn't it? Now, which one is out of these brings up the designers higher? It's only really the... Oh. The inbox. Ah, we'll just go with this. So, drop you there. Drop you there. We'll get two artists on the go. Why not? Why not? Uh, so... Oh, hold on. Again, let me pause. Because I've got to make the rooms certain designations. That makes sense. So let me get to manage teams. And that's our core team. Let's create a new team. So let's call this our design team. Add that in. Let's rename this core team to code team. So code and design. Okay. And then I need to make sure that we got the right employees in the right rooms. So you are a little bit of everything. You are a designer. So change your team to design. And then Asiniac code. You, you're technically a coder, even though your design's fairly high as well. And there we go. So then I make this room or limit it to... Which is the limiting button? Switch team to design only. And then switch team to code only. That's where the work will then happen. Or at least I hope it will work like that. So we've got some employees that we could also educate too. So educate you. And educate you to on the designer front for system. Yes. There we go. Oh, can I do another one? Oh, I've done programmer. I didn't mean to do programmer. How much is this costing me, by the way? Um, okay. Right, you educate. Ah, you You got nothing new to educate. I mean, I could educate. I could do the designers and stuff, couldn't I? Yeah, we could just get everyone educated over, as overall. We might just get all these stars sorted out. Right, hold on. So this is meant to be our designer. Educate. Who has a very high programming skill. Hmm. Something seems fishy, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Something does. Your programming skill is very, very high. <laughs> details. Uh, details... She's very stressed, isn't she? Oh, dear God. She's very stressed. Right, let me hire some new employees then. And we'll go with our designer. And we'll go 2D. Salary low, overall skill, personality, cost. We'll spend quite a bit. And we want to get them on the design team, yes. Yeah. So compatibility, we want to make sure it's, it's great. So you'll be perfect... Because, yeah, well, yeah, because you're 20. This this person here, Joanne, is 20, so they'll work for us a lot longer in life. So, higher. And that's two in there. And then we're going to hire another employee, another programmer, who will do audio. Low, yeah, we'll spend a fortune again, making sure that this is on the core team. Amazing compatibility, yes. Hire you. Right, so then our teams, we have a... The coding team has a... Um, 
What's that there? Compatibility, that's it, yeah. And um, make sure that the time's set for the design team. Right, that's good. So we've now got an extra two employees who will gradually come in as time goes on. We'll call for a cleaner real quick. Just a cleaner. Skip to next day. Employee's going on vacation. One of them's also educating themselves. And, oh, play, play mode. We also want to make sure that we assign the design team onto this as well. So they can simultaneously work on it. Which is good. And then we need to make sure that the, the teams are only designated to do certain stuff as well. Which they can have their focus on something. So uh, manage the roles. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that how we do it? Ta is it tasks? No. Right, code team, manage roles. No design, well, mm, no artist work. That's kind of what I go for. Okay, no, no one's getting any more money. No artist work. There we go. Design team. Because I'll eventually need like an artist team. That's what I'll eventually need. Manage roles. So no programming and no service. That's kind of how I want it to work. I think anyway. Uh, so no facility to the church. So I'm completely starving worn out. Now I think she can't go in there to, to, to eat. Because it's kind of classed as... Uh, it's classed as the, what you call it, the coding room. So if I go function, if I go to needs, where's my needs? Put a coffee machine just there. Put a vending machine just there for you. And then she should be happy. Hopefully, anyway, she's getting up for a snack. Oh, she's really hungry. <laughs> She's really hungry. Right, skip to next month then. Not accepting any requests just yet, but how's the money coming in? Pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, still making enough money anti fall and productive fall. Make sure I've got enough copies in stock. We're about to run out of this one, so let's order some new copies for you. Let's get 250 copies this time. Keep that going. And the iteration here right now, it's actually going up pretty quick. I'm still waiting for that other person to come off all their education. Because they're going to be so smart when they get back. It's going to be ridiculous. Okay then, so the 2D is almost done. And it's system and audio that is all that's remaining. But we've got over 300,000 right now. So we've got enough money to kind of keep seeing us through as we make our operating system. We've just got to hope that this operating system that we are making is going to be kind of semi-decent. Probably not going to be, guys. It's probably not going to be. Uh, anyway, system and audio are underway. Once it goes into its third iteration, I think I'll promote it. Right, they're all going home anyway. Right. No, 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 no. Right. Is that other person back off their education just yet? Still no. Still no. Right. Let's... Okay, let's develop it. And... Our designer can't do anything right now. Because it's all now down to the code in front of it. So if that's the case... Oh, is it, oh, is it unassigned? It's unassigned. Why is it unassigned? Or is it because unassigned because... I don't know, I don't know. Let's take the design team off anyway. So is there any contract work our design team can do? Uh, game assets. So, sound effects requires audio and 2D at any level for the artist. Right, I think I'll wait for the next month because we're about to run out of time on this month. So, we'll wait for this then. I'm not accepting any requests. Right, that person's still on education, man. That's crazy. Uh, so, contract work then, game assets. Let's give it a go. Let's try it for the design team. So we have two artists, two designers, zero programmers. Let's see what happens. I'm... Wait, did I accept it? No one is uh, competent as a... 
Level zero two D artists in this thing. Yeah, I want to continue anyway. Let's see what happens. Right, she's working away. She could do this herself. Fairly easy. Which is good. And then we'll develop it when it's ready. Okay, now she actually can't do it. <laughs> I should have thought this through. A sign. Get them all to work on it. So why are you not doing any work? Right, all of our workers are now back. This is like almost so far out of the way. It's got to be done this month as well. And... Boom. Promote. We'll finish it off. Nice little chunk of change coming into the bank account. And... So if I now assign the design team onto it, she can work on it. So not everybody can, because not everyone is equipped to do all of this stuff. So if I also assign the designers onto it, onto the support. And you know, I, I, I don't think at this moment in time, I can be choosy with the roles. So I think I'm just gonna make every team now do the same role. I don't think I could, beggars can't be choosers, can they, basically? I can't be too picky, because I've only got a small team. Uh, we're losing sales. What? The productive fool has got 100,000 coming to the bank. Oh, my God. Also, someone, someone can be educated. Uh, you're a pro, pro oh, do some programming stuff. There we go. Educate you. Um, guys, I've got money coming in. I'm going to do a thousand units for you. And order copies. I'm going to do 10,000 for you. Because whatever's changed right now, it's got a hundred thousand come in. Something's changed. Productive fall. Let me see the uh, details of it. Um. So it's somebody started using it? Like, what's happened? Unless it's just found its level playing field and people realise, you know, they now need an, an office software or something like that. Has to be. Anyway, let's call the cleaner. Clean up for us there, because the office is getting pretty dirty right now. Working away, working away. That's going to take some time. Like, it did say, remember, it did say three years to create it. This is the point that we get into. So why are you unable to do much work for me? Oh, are you a designer? Oh, wait, have I got the people in the wrong teams? Manage employees. Oh, so you can be educated. Hold on. Uh, and the 2D so I can educate. <laughs> Do I just put them all back into the same team? Because I've clearly got everything confused, haven't I? Right. All of you guys, change team to code team. All right, let's keep it like that. Manage teams. Compatibility is still pretty good. You know, disband that team. Right, let's see how they get on now then. Oh, wait, 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 pause. Switch team. There we go. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 137,000 of the productive fool. I'm going to up the budget to 5,000 in marketing for that. Do I have enough units still? Yeah, still got enough new units. Holy smokes, that just come out of nowhere. That literally just come out of nowhere. Right, I've got two employees that are currently being educated. That's why they haven't arrived just yet. And uh, let's just kind of see how this now ticks. How this trots along, boy. So 
So end this month. Money's just gonna be even higher. Nearly 181,000. Right. We got everybody in right now. We got some employees unhappy with their job. I reckon she's unhappy because she's working right next door to this. So if I get rid of that and I replace it with some decorative stuff, like a stick of, can I not stick a plant there? Why is that? Why can't I stick a plant there? I don't know. But let me stick a put a plant on her t on her desk for environmental stuff. Nah, she's still unhappy. I like a, me a team member. Okay. In a romantic way? <laughs> Employee details. Uh, so noise is a problem. Comfort, job satisfaction. Do you know what I could do? Is select all the chairs. And re no, replace furniture with like super duper comfy ones. Executive chair. There we go. They'll love those now, won't they? They'll love those chairs. Look at them. She's so happy right now. Look at me go, guys. Look at me go right now. Right. Okay. 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 So the operating system, again, like I said, it, it is taking some time. We're getting quite a bit of money coming in. So things are going in the right direction uh, for us. Which is what I like to see. We're still going to pump more into it though. We, we need like bigger teams, don't we? I wonder if we can merge these rooms. Can we merge them? No, we can't, can we? I don't know if it's because to do with that I'm leasing it. I can't lease that one there. So I feel like we now need a little bit more room don't we to kind of be able to grow um alright she's literally stopped working she fell asleep what's she doing home she goes right okay what I'm thinking about doing then is let me select all the furniture in here and let me sell it Right, with these desks, executive chair, there we go, um, right, function, computer, now I know I had different stuff down, but I think I'm just going to go with a calculator for each one, because it does have a little bit of design thrown in there. Uh, this creature overcrowded can distract employees. Yeah. It's not going to be good. <laughs> it's not going to be. It's going to be like a little sweatshop, isn't it? But I got an extra two. I got an extra two employees in there. So if I hired employees, and I went for programmers with. A medium, should we go for a high skill? Let's go for a high skill. Let's just go all out and see if we can get someone to work on the system. Compatibility uh, is going to be great. I can look again. Well, I think great's the best we're going to get. Wow, his compatibility, oh, his stuff's really good. Right, I'm going to hire you. Right, and we'll hire one more programmer. Who we need someone to work on the audio. Alright, you hire as well. So we've got great compatibility. It's not amazing, but it's it's good. So we have to hire some really experienced people right now just so we can make some progression. So skip to the next day. Everyone's coming in right now. So not everyone is gonna be super like happy. Something's missing demand as well. What is it? Okay, it's both. Oh, probably both. No, actually, it's going to be this one more than anything. All the copies. I'll order 25,000. That should keep them happy. All the copies of this, I'll order 5,000 just to keep them off my backs for a little bit. 
and hopefully we get a lot of work done with now our operating system. And we're just going to keep pushing this forward as much as possible. So I wonder why this person here just literally stops working. She's probably, yeah, she probably is stressed more than anything. Uh, right, let's educate you. System programming. Nice. Go with it. So manage teams. I'll let them go home an hour earlier. Just so they can get a little bit more rest in the day. 250,000. Oh my god, we've got 1.2 million in the bank. Right, next episode, guys, we are definitely going to be moving premises. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Burglars are looking to loot your premises. Click here. Burglars successfully looted 21 items from your premises. Uh, click here to restore. Click here uh, and click restore. For click here and click restore. Guys, I've been robbed. You're all seeing this, right? I've been freaking robbed. <laughs> well, that didn't go down too well, did it, right? And let's, uh, what's going on here? Right, click here, restore furniture, 12,000. Oh my good God. And let's get some work done, please. Let's get rid of all them notifications. Right, let's get some work done. Because this operating system is going mental. Well, I'm not accepting anybody's... Uh, so the sales stuff. of the Productive Fool have really now dropped down and, you know, coming to a final close in the last couple of months. They went from 626,000 then to 42,000. So I think that's more the fact that we have potentially go to our releases right now, reach the capacity to who we can sell to. So if I go to details right now, um, right, units. We sold... It's really hard to see some of this stuff anyway. So active units, refunds, grow, slice, computing, reach. 1.7 million people we can potentially reach. So I feel like... Nah, we kind of reach 1.7 million that quick. I think people just lost interest or maybe a better software has come available. But that's okay, though, because he's given us 2.1 million now in the bank that we get to use uh, to support our team to build a new office for next episode uh, and uh, to grow a little bit and get, it, get things up and running. Right, we also have some research available, too. So none there, none there, none there, none there, none... Wait, what? What? It said I had two... Oh, wait, wait, it's here. So, research system... Potential royalty, 5%. How long will that take to get done? Probably a very long time. I don't think I'll ever get to be able to do that. That will take a long time. But how much are we losing a month anyway? Okay, so we could do a couple of months of that still to come yet. As you're working hard. So why don't we start building up some hype then? So let's, um, let's announce a release date. Let's market a press release with pictures and all that kind of jazz. Throw that all in. Get that rocking and a rolling. i got a lot of stuff I'm getting done right now, haven't I? Keep going. Um... Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the anti-fool right now. We'll keep this this keep going because you're still making some kind of money off it anyway. So we've announced a release date. We've got an, ed an employee to educate right now. I'll just go with whatever available. I don't mind. Bam. The office is really dirty. It's called cleaning. I'm just going to keep an eye on this. Right, I'm going to cancel support. 
So they're not spending too much time on support and they can focus all their work on creating the Folio operating system, which is what I want them to do more than more than anything right now. So we're nearly at 90% on the artwork. Free employees on a vacation. So it's a 1.9 million right now. I think when uh, when we move office, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire everybody and then start some teams from scratch so I can get as close to amazing compatibility on, on as many of them as possible. That's what I wanna try and do. That's what we're gonna try and go for. Right, up to, I think once we get the, the code to 90%, I think that's when we'll put it into the next stage. So we're at 86% at the moment. Let's see how many percent we do in this next month. We've got two employees here we can educate. There we go, let's educate them to the next stage. We're at 88%. So we did 3% in that one month, which is not too bad, to be honest. It's not too bad. Right, I think we're going to add to it now, because we still made 4,000. It does add 4,000 less onto to there, which is kind of cool. So we managed to do another 3% there. To be honest with you guys, a couple more months and I can get the, all of this to 100%. I might go down that route instead. So we're going to have to use everybody as... Let's hire a cleaner. Because the place is getting consistently dirty. I might uh, just see this through to get 100%. If possible. So we need to hire a IT dude right now. Or call IT support. We'll call maintenance as well, just in case there's any like maintenance stuff that needs to get done. I don't think there was, but you know, it's better be on the safe side there. So they're all back in then. Two employees can be educated again as well. We're at 96 and 97 percent before we go into the next stage. 97, 98. Right, this this month could be the one where we complete it. If not, it'll be the month after. We are so close. So close to getting this done. It's 90, 98, 99. Right? Come on, come on. Come on. You can do this, 99, 99. Oh, okay. It's this month then, 100%. Get it? Because this month's going to be 100%. So, the art should get done first and at 100%, which it has done now. And now we're just waiting for the code to reach 100%. And... There we go. So, promote. Yep. We're going to market the press build. Get that underway now and into our bit ink. A bank cats. Boom. It's been reviewed. They're probably going to say it's terrible because there's not much software or much going on with it. Uh, it looks amazing. It boasts a decent feature set. You have to wait and try it yourself. Oh, actually, it might be pretty good. To be honest. Alright, let's see how many bugs they can potentially can get out. Uh, we'll release that then. Build up some more followers. And we'll release it on the following month. No, actually we'll release it now. Why not? So release them. Yep. Yeah. Budget for marketing. We'll do 10,000. Yep. Yeah. Get some copies. Okay, I don't want that many copies. But we'll get 100,000 copies. There we go. That's pretty sweet then. And are you ready to see what it does? I'm going to cancel all this. Oh, what did I just cancel? Did I just cancel the support for the Fulia? I may have done so. And I'm support, there we go. Whew. 
Whew, that was close. Right, you ready, guys? Bam. We have just made 1.6 million dollars there. Look at that go up. One point, nearly 1.4 of it was profit. Guys, if that's not a good end to the episode, I don't know what is right now. Um, 100% next episode, we're going to move premises. We'll either move to a new premises or we'll either build our own offices. With this chunk of change that we've got coming in, this should be fairly, fairly easy. And we'll definitely we'll set up the teams properly. We do a coding, a design, and an art team. Get them all the right people inside of them, doing all the right tasks. And we should then be up and running. We've just released our first operating system. Yeah, boy! <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this episode. If you did, smash that like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.